For this DIY video I'll be working on this hallway, I've never really liked the color because the white looks like it's dirty. I'll be adding boards to the doors because I will be painting over the doors and the entire wall with the same color. Now because the doors have grooves, they're decorative, I want to do something that's totally different but at the same time I would love the doors to match one another. This is the color of paint that I'm going to be using on the walls and the doors as well. I'll be covering the entire area with paint, including the baseboards and the trims. I had this showing after painting and that's totally my fault because I did not use tape there. But I will be covering that up with this angle trim that I got from Home Depot. Now I'm going to go ahead to take off all of the tape and then work on the design that I would love this area to have. I'll be using a ruler and a pencil to mark out the design and I will be making the pattern on these doors with gold tape. I had to come up with a way that this door will almost look like it's flowing at the same design with the door that's close to it. So from afar, it's going to look like it's one whole design and you won't even really know that they are doors. This door here leads to one of the visitors' bathroom that's downstairs and it's not used a lot. And maybe that's why I left it the way it was for so long. But finally now I'm going to give it the makeover it deserves on a budget. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a sharp knife to cut off the excess tape. I found out that it was so much easier having the tape to come on like this and then taking off the excess with a sharp knife. That way the design comes out with clean edges. This pattern that I have on this door is going to be repeated on the other door to make it look like it's one pattern even if they're on separate doors. This turned out better than I expected and definitely better than what it was before. I'm so glad I went with the idea of painting the baseboards and the trim the exact same color because now it looks like a whole design and made the hallway look unique. Here's a renter friendly idea and I would like to do something more than just painting over the door. So I'm going to be starting with 3D panels over the two doors that I was showing you guys earlier. And I'll be attaching them with a mounting tape that I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm doing this so that if in the future I don't like the design, I can easily take it off. But if you want to make it permanent, you would have to use a strong adhesive and attach the 3D panels to the doors. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I'll be adding trims around the door. I'm going to cut them to an angle using an angle cutter and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below.
I've got two doors close to each other, so I'll be repeating the same design that I did for this one on the other one. I'll be closing up these visible lines here with caulk. I'll be using a much slimmer PVC trim to decorate the sides of the doors. You can get this from Lowe's or Home Depot. I'm going to be covering the trims with gold contact paper and the link for this is going to be down in the description box below. I'm not so sure about this one either, so because of that I'm going to be mounting it with a Dollar Tree mounting tape. I love the way the doors look like now and they have a unique look with a 3D panel. For this next writer friendly design, I got my idea from Pinterest. And this design is on a wooden door. Now this is the door that I'm going to work on. And the first thing that I did was to look for a contact paper that had almost the same color. I am not so in love with the wooden background, so I went for something close to it. So I got this from Target and it's a contact paper and I'm going to apply this to the door. Now I'm going to make a little shape using my double sided tape here just to guide me when I'll be making the design. The shape of the design is similar to a starburst mirror, or half starburst mirror. I got thin wooden dolls from Walmart and I'm going to spray paint all of them gold. Now I'm going to go ahead and glue them to the door. I want you guys to know that I am applying the hot glue to the contact paper and not directly to the door. I'm going to be cutting down the dolls to the length that I need as I continue with the project. I'm gluing the dolls to the marks that I made and that was really, really helpful. When I was done, I realized that I could just add more. I mean, it's my door. <laughs> so I decided to just add more dolls in between. It turned out so beautiful. Remember guys, that these are ideas for rental spaces. Thank you all so much for watching. I have other home decor DIY videos that are linked in the description box below to check them out. And for those of you who have not subscribed to my channel, don't forget to click on the subscribe button.